Hi everyone, today's historical fashion trend became one of those iconic images that we still associate with princesses and castles. Today's sketch is about the Henin. The Henin appeared in the mid to late 15th century, so it became fashionable during the period when the Gothic style still dominated architecture, which is interesting because we can see similarities between this pointy head and the tall and overall pointy aesthetic of the Gothic cathedrals of this time. It was very popular in France and in the Low Countries. The Henin began as a simple cone of a stiff material placed on the crown of the head. Over time it got longer and longer, some Henins are said to have reached 120 centimeters, which is about 4 feet if I'm not mistaken. Keeping the henin steady on your head was a challenge. At first it was pinned to a simple cloth cap that was tied beneath the chin, but as this kind of headdress grew taller, more elaborate structures were needed. It has even been suggested that women used glue to keep this head steady on their head, though that is unlikely. Medieval headdresses often emphasized the woman's high, smooth forehead, so it wasn't fashionable to show any hair under the henin. The beauty standard for a woman on that time was pale and fair, with almost invisible eyebrows and eyelashes, so women bleached their hair to the fashionable blonde and often plucked their hairline. Some even applied leeches to their face to drain the blood and make them look paler. The forehead was supposed to occupy half of your face. Try measuring out yours and you'll figure out that's a lot. I thought I had a high forehead before learning this, but apparently for medieval beauty standards it's pretty short. Women's hands with gauze veils achieved heights that we probably wouldn't see again in fashion history. Although women's heads would still be substantial in their height and extravagance for many years to come. There was a, also a version of the henin where the tip was cut, so to speak, giving it more of a cylindrical shape. Did you ever think about trying one of these heads, perhaps pretending to be a princess in a castle? Or would you avoid wearing such a towering head as much as possible? Let me know in the comments and also, as always, feel free to comment with your favorite historical fashion trends, they may be sketched in future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed it.